Hi and welcome to this video. I'm May and this is the second part of talking about some character illustrations for the 16 personality types or the MBTI types. And in this part we'll focus on the blue types or the sentinel types. And in general sentinels tend to be cooperative, practical and grounded. They really value security and stability and they work hard to maintain their way of things. Traditions and systems are very important to them as well as order. And when looking at all the other types, the sentinels can be seen as kind of contrasting to the explorers since they tend to be very spontaneous. And for the diplomats and analysts, they also tend to be pretty opposite from each other. Analysts more logic focused and diplomats more feeling focused. But for now, let's focus on the sentinels. And for each of the four types, I'm gonna talk about the illustration itself the pose and the outfit I chose, what was special about that and so on. Then I'll talk about some characteristics that the personality type tends to have. This is all just from some Instagram pages that are focused on the 16 personality types, just some notes I took. So none of the things are like set in stone, but they are just some tendencies that often can show up in people that have this personality type. Then lastly, I'll also mention some fictional characters, mainly from anime and also from animated series that have the current personality type. Okay, for now, let's start with the first sentinel type, which is the ESTJ. And in this illustration, I tried a lot of different hand poses and I also wasn't sure about the arms. In general, when drawing a half body poses like these, I think the arms are something I always play around with a little since other than the face, they tend to be what people focus on the most and can be very expressive. I also tried some different hairstyles, even a long ponytail or a bun. I kind of wanted all the types to have unique hairstyles. And I really enjoy coming up with hairstyles. I also added a few details on the jacket since it was a little plain to me at the beginning. And in the end, I also added this diamond pattern to the tie of the character. Now on to some characteristics that this type tends to have. To the ESTJ, learning, leadership, structure, clarity and ambition are very important. While they don't like ignorance or impulsiveness. They can relate to having no regrets and not holding back. And I also wrote down what the types could be like in school or as friend. And in school the ESTJ could likely be a good networker. They might be the first to talk in class discussions and also a president of a lot of clubs. Sometimes they might be very loud accidentally. As a friend they don't take breaks and love you fiercely and what they aren't that good at with focusing on the emotions of other people in general for the thinking types looking at the feelings of people can be a little difficult but this comes down to how high your percentage is of thinking or feeling because if you take the test and you have like 60 percent feeling then deciding with thinking might not be too difficult for you but for someone who has like 90 percent feeling it's more difficult and so on. Now on to some characters that have the ESTJ personality type. From Avatar The Last Airbender, there's Sokka and from Legend of Korra, Lin Beifong. Then from Seraph of the End, there's Mitsuba Sangu. In Maid Sama, Ayuzawa Misaki has this personality type and in Lovely Complex, Asushi Otani. And lastly, in Genshin Impact, Goro and Ningguang both have ESTJ personality type. Next, let's talk about the ISTJ, the more introverted version of the ESTJ. Well, the type is also different in some other ways, but for this illustration, I went with a rather simple pose of having the arms crossed, and I thought this would fit the ISTJ since they can be a little rigid and are most of the time very straightforward. And then for the shirt, I went with a stripe pattern. I also used this stripe pattern on the ENTJ type in the first video. Then the ISTJ for some accessoires. I didn't include 
as many as this was as I wanted with all these illustrations. I could have done more, but for this one I added a necklace and a wristwatch. Since they tend to be very organized, I thought having a wristwatch would suit this type. And in case you're wondering about the hair colors and in general the coloring with all of these illustrations, for the shading I often included two levels of shading and for the hair I also added highlights. Then for the coloring of the general outfits, for each of the four categories, here for the sentinels for example I went with a monochrome blue palette and then for the explorers yellow and so on. And I basically picked five blue tones at first and then added them to a palette and for each of the outfits I just filled the colors in. The eye colors of the characters are just from these four categories as well. But with the hair coloring, I went about it with a different pattern. I just had every extroverted type have the darker version of the hair color of the introverted type. For example, here for the ISTJ, it's a light green or turquoise, and from the ESTJ, it was a dark green and so on for the other types. Also in the first video for the INTP, for example, light blue, and then for the ENTP, dark blue. I just really like to have a little pattern when I'm doing so many illustrations. But for now let's continue talking about the ISTJ and what's often important to them. They like realism, truth, directness and effectiveness, having alone time and in general structure. On the other hand they don't like uncontrollable issues, flashiness or ignorance. They are often very honest and polite and keep their promises. And the ISTJ in school might be a model student and some might say they are kind of boring since they always follow the rules and so on. As a friend they can be sarcastic but also give intentional compliments. They also might try to parent you with love of course, <laughs> looking out for you. What they aren't that good at is being in new situations where they don't have time to prepare and know method or structure to follow. Now onto some characters that have this personality type. First from Hunter x Hunter, Ilumi Zoldik, then in Haikyuu, Tobio Kageyama, Sakusa Kiyomi, Kita Shinsuke and Shimizu Kyoko have this personality type. From Kuroko's Basketball, Midorima Shintaro also has this type. Then in Horimiya, Kakeru Sengoku, in My Little Monster Mizutani Shizuku and in Legend of Korra Tenzin all have this personality type. Yori Izumi from Idolish 7, Yoon from Yona of the Dawn and Haruhi Fujioka from Oran High School Host Club all have this personality type as well. And lastly from Genshin Impact, Zhongli and Zhao also have this personality type. In general from surveys and so on, the ISTJ type is like the most common type. I saw somewhere that it was like 15% of people, but of course it can also have changed over time now, but yeah, it's not a very rare type. Now on to the next type, which is the ESFJ. For this character, kind of contrasting to the ISTJ, I went with a really outgoing pose. I want the arms to be up behind the head since it was a pose I didn't try with the other characters yet. I also sketched arm cylinders for this often and when doing a pose like this, which I usually wouldn't do, I do that more often just to make sure that the proportions are correct and so on. And I wanted the clothes and for this character to be a little dynamic as well, kind of flowing with the movement of the character. And again, I tried many, many hairstyles for this. And since I hadn't done a bun yet, I went with that, but also I added some longer hair. The character also has a necklace and a band around the wrist. In my opinion, in the end, the eyes turned out too far apart on the face. In general, when looking back at my old illustrations, how the face looks tends to be what bothers me the most. Also the proportions of the body, but with this one here, yeah, the eyes stood out to me. What is very important to the ESFJ is harmony, relationships, order, practicality and traditions to show commitment. They don't like pettiness, harmful stereotypes or complacency. They often have good communication skills and help others out and they also try to be productive. In school they might want to be the student council president and they know all the school gossip. 
they are also friendly to everyone and have a good balance between love and school life. The ESFJ as a friend might be extremely busy but makes time for you. They also love friendship traditions. What tends to be hard for the ESFJ is to follow a reasonable path when the emotions of others are affected. And now for some characters that have the ESFJ personality type. In Hunter x Hunter, Yorio Paradinite has this type. Then in Fruits Basket, Toro Honda, in Horimiya Kyoko Hori, and in My Little Monster, Natsume Asako, all have this type. In Avatar The Last Airbender, there's Katara. And in Shira, Perfuma, Bo, and Scorpia all have this type. From Idolish 7, Banri Ogami, Inamaru Toma, Yonosuke Tanashi, and Mitsuki Izumi all have this type. And lastly, Toma and Amber from Genshin Impact also are ESFJs. And that's it for this type. And now let's talk about the last type for this video, the ISFJ. For this illustration, I was playing around with how bent the body should be. Having a curved upper body, either forward or backwards, can really add to a pose, but just a straight back can also be very nice depending on what you want your illustration to turn out like in the end, and how the character in general tends to behave. For the outfit of the character, I went with a big comfy sweater. Since the ISFJ tends to be very caring, I kind of wanted that to be represented through this. I also added a small circle pattern and wasn't really sure about the colors with it at first. Now for some characteristics that the ISFJ often has. Peace, collaboration, empathy, loyalty, affection and honesty are things they highly value. While they don't like giving up rudeness and overly competitive people, they also tend to have a big willpower and a lot of affection for others. The ISFJ in school might quietly stick to their work but can speak up if it's necessary. They are devoted to school but not very popular but no one hates them. And as a friend they text you out of the blue to make sure you're okay. They seem shy but they are very thoughtful and they might make you homemade gifts very often. What the ISFJ can struggle with is when others push them to do too many new things at once. Now finally, let's talk about some characters that have this personality type and I got all of the types for the characters from the site personality database, which I often go to when I have a show I really enjoy just to find out the types and when you know the type of a character, you already kind of know a little bit about what tends to be important to them and so on. I just like to find out about the personality type since then I can already kind of see what might be important to that type and so on. For the ISFJ, in Haikyuu, Yachi Hitoka has this type, Sakura, Kono and Akane Yanagi from Horimiya both have this type as well. In Legend of Korra, Asami is an ISFJ and in Idolish 7, Tsumugi Takanashi too. Then Kija and Suwon from Yona of the Dawn both have this type as well. Yoichi Saotome from Seraph of the End is also an ISFJ and finally Ganyu, Jin and Changyong from Genshin Impact also are ISFJs. But that's it for the last type in this video and with that the second video of this four part mini series comes to an end. You can comment which of the illustrations you think turned out the best or didn't turn out that well or just which of the types you find very interesting and if you took the test which type you are or which of the characters I mentioned you really like. If you enjoyed this video and haven't seen the first one, you can also check that out and you can look forward to the next two parts which will be uploaded in the next following weeks with talking about the other personality types and illustrations for them. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can like it and also consider subscribing. It would make me very happy. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.